case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In Montana v. Egelhoff, a 1996 Supreme Court case, the focus was on the idea that while defendants have the right to present evidence in their defense, this right is not absolute, and states can limit that right if there is a valid reason to do so. A Montana law prohibiting the use of voluntary intoxication as a defense in criminal cases was challenged by a defendant who argued that it prevented them from presenting all relevant evidence and violated due process. The defendant was implicated in the fatal shooting of two individuals after spending a day and a night drinking with them. They were found alive in a car with the victims, shouting obscenities, while the victims lay dead. The defendant's blood alcohol content was measured at 0.36%, and gunshot residue was found on their hands. The Supreme Court ultimately ruled in favor of Montana, holding that the state's law barring the defendant from using voluntary intoxication as a defense was constitutional and compliant with the due process. The majority opinion, delivered by Justice Scalia, emphasized that the state had the authority to prohibit certain types of evidence for valid reasons, and excluding voluntary intoxication evidence was supported by a long-standing common law tradition. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class